Happy Saturday, everybody. You made it. Memorial Day weekend, uh, Saturday, May 23rd. Um, if you're joining us today after yesterday, congratulations, you made it back from the dead. Uh, and if you're just getting your weekend started with us before uh, you go cause some debauchery over the holiday weekend, hopefully we can get you sweating a little bit today. Uh, so what we have, we got a Metcon uh, and then a little accessory work or afterburner, if you want to call it, or it's called booty burn today. Uh, so if you're wearing your swim trunks this weekend, hopefully you fill those out nicely for uh, the friends. Um, but the Metcon, how it's going to start, it's going to be 21, 15, 9. Uh, so three separate movements. It'll go 21, 21, 21, 15, 15, 15, 9, 9, 9. Um, we are starting 21, 15, 9 of back squats, just starting from the ground. So you'll have to clean and jerk that thing up overhead and get it onto your back if you're using a barbell today. After that, we'll do lateral bar hopovers times two every round. So your first round will be 42 lateral hops over the bar. Um, second round, 15 times two will be 30 hops over the bar. Uh, and then the last round of nine, it'll be 18 lateral hops over the bar. Those should be very quick. If you're using a barbell, if you're using a dumbbell today or dumbbells today, that's fine too. Uh, and then we're going to finish with pike push-ups, which is the scale that we do for handstand push-ups in at the gym. I'm sure all of us have, have done them a, a good number of times. Uh, you can elevate your knees or your feet up on a box if you have it at home or just a, a higher surface like an ottoman, couch, whatever. Uh, or if you're just doing them uh, unassisted today without any props, uh, you'll basically just walk yourself out into that position and try to bend yourself as close as you can into that V position with your hands out on the ground in front of you, your legs behind you. You should feel a big stretch into your hamstrings as you go down into that position. Uh, and make sure that we're just pressing the top of our head forward into the ground in that tripod position and then all the way back up to fully extend it with those arms so that that head passes all the way through, much like it would uh, if you were using a, a barbell. Um, so that's, that's how it's going to go. 21, 15, nine, uh, fitness today, or I'm sorry, I should say here first, it's a 12 minute time cap. So this is going to go pretty quickly. And that's the way that I want us to approach it too. We'll talk tips and pacing here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, but fitness, if you're doing a barbell today, it's 95, 65 on the bar, uh, performance and open, it's an even playing field at 135, 95. Um, if you're using dumbbells today, we are going to be using two of them. They're going to be held in the front rack position. Any way you want to hold those, if you want the heads of the dumbbells facing up, that's fine. If you want one in the back, one in the front, that's fine. Just make sure that you keep those hands around those handles. Uh, it needs to be around those handles some way uh, at all times. Um, so fitness will go with a pair of 35s or 25s. Uh, and then performance and open, again, going to be an even playing field of 50s uh, and 35s. Uh, so that's what we have for the first piece. The second piece, the after work, uh, is called booty burn. Uh, it's going to be really quick and dirty. Uh, it's three rounds, 30 seconds of max jumping lunges. It's exactly how it sounds. Um, just one leg out in front, one behind. The back knee touches the ground, just grazes it to the best of your ability. You jump all the way up, clear the hip open, and then go right back down to uh, right back down to the other knee. I really do want you guys to try and focus on getting that hip open for a uh, a brief second. Even you, Steve Michelotti, if you're uh, if you're watching this today, um, and then right after that 30 second period, we're going to go into 30 seconds of an air squat hold at parallel. This is not an ass to grass like you know butt on your heels position like just resting. This should really hurt after those max jumping lunges in that 30 second clock. So I want you to find for you what at or right below parallel means. Sit your butt back, keep the weight in the heels, try to drive your knees out, keep your core nice and tight, chest is up. You're going to hold that bottom position for 30 seconds and then stand up when we have our last 30 second clock, which is just resting for 30 seconds. Uh, that clock will run continuously. Uh, so we have a total of... Uh, well, I guess like four and a half minutes. Uh, it's going to go really quickly. Uh, so make sure that when you're resting, stay up on your feet, shake your legs out, uh, and just get ready for the next one. That's what we have from top to bottom today. Um, and Steve, if you are watching this, hopefully you know I'm just messing around with you. Uh, let's talk tips and pacing. 
Tips and pacing. Um, Metcon, 21-15-9 of back squats, lateral bar hopovers times two, uh, and pike push-ups. Back squats, they're done unbroken. You have no choice in the matter. Those are done unbroken from 21, 15, and 9. So if you need to scale down weights or choose weights appropriately based on that or what I want you to get done with it, um, please do it. But I want all of them unbroken. Once it gets on the back, don't force yourself to have to clean that thing back up. This is a quick workout, and I want those to burn. Uh, lateral bar hopovers times two. Um, after we're probably breathing a little heavy off of that bar, really pushing and getting the lactic acid flowing for the first set and definitely on the second set, uh, those may need to slow down just a little bit and that's fine. Just again, find a rhythm that you can maintain. Bang, 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 uh, for big sets there. Hopefully you're able to rip off like a, a touch and go, just hop, 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 hop for at least a set of 10. Uh, that's what I would be looking for every time you, uh, you approach that thing. Uh, pike push-ups, split those up as you need to. I know that those can be pretty taxing on some of us. Just a big thing that I want you to focus on, because uh, this will probably be the slowest station out of the uh, out of the three. Really focus, like I talked about in the beginning, on driving the top of your head in that tripod position right down into the floor. So we're more so shoulder pressing here rather than like a, an incline push-up. Uh, we did a ton of push-ups the other day with that baby Murph workout. If you do work out with us yesterday, you did 125 burpees. You're going to do Murph here in a couple of days if you're going to do some sort of modified version of that. Um, do not make this harder on yourself than it needs to be. Do not make it hard on your chest. That is not the focus that I want. Right here. Put it in the floor. Um, so that's what we got for the first piece. Again, it's a 12-minute cap. I, I want that to be fast. It's going to burn, and then we're going to get into the last piece, the accessory work, that booty burn. That's obviously going to burn as well. Um, just try your best to keep moving through the max max uh, max set of jumping lunges in that 30 second period. Uh, some of us may not last all 30 seconds and that's fine. Just try to shake out your legs for a quick second, get back into it. Uh, that 30 second hold, don't dog that thing. I don't want ass to grass. I don't want you to be comfortable in that position. It should not feel good. Uh, and then we rest for 30 before we complete it again. Uh, hopefully all of that makes sense. Again, if you're using dumbbells for the Metcon today, we do have two of them. Uh, and if you are using a barbell today, you need to clean and jerk that thing all the way up overhead, get it to your back, and then we begin our back squats. Cool? Let's warm up. Now, on your own for the first part of the uh, the warm-up, you can split up these reps however you want. Um, and even for the first one, there's two movements that you can choose how many of each you want to do out of this big set that we're going to rip off. Um, but how the reps are going to go, it's going to be four separate movements, uh, or five, I guess. Um, we've got 100 for the first, 75 reps for the second, 50 reps for the third, and 25 for the fourth. Okay? The set of 100 is high knees and or butt kickers. Okay? Chances are you don't want to do 100 high knees and you don't want to do 100 butt kickers. Maybe we split this up 50-50, but total, I want 100 butt kickers or high knees combined. However you want to do that is fine. Uh, 75, it's going to be lateral line hops. I don't need you to break out your dumbbells or your barbell just yet. Just find maybe like a crack in the sidewalk or, you know, if you've got some gym flooring in your basement, find a, a line that you can jump over. We're going to have 75 lateral line hops. 50 is going to be shoulder taps. So just in the top of a plank position, you're going to go alternating hand to shoulder or opposite hand to shoulder. One, two, three down in the top of a push-up, a high plank position. We have 50 of those. And then the set of 25, it's going to be 25 jumping air squats. Okay. Again, you do not need to complete all 100 reps before you move on to the 75, so on and so forth. You can split these up however you want, but in total, as your first part of your warm-up, I want 100 high knees and or butt kickers, 75 lateral line hopovers, 50 shoulder taps from that high plank position, and then 25 jumping air squats. Go get that done, and then we'll go into the next piece. Next part of the warm-up is just going to be 10 reps a piece for a couple of stations. First one, you're going to interlock your fingers, press them up to the sky as you lunge forward. So a big stretch up through your shoulders into your lats. Um, as you lunge forward, we'll go 10 Samson lunges, so five on each leg for a total of 10. Uh, after those 10, we're going into 10 side lunges. Okay, to stretch out your groin, your hips. 
Uh, after that will be 10 toy soldiers or Frankenstein kicks, whatever you want to call them. Opposite hand to foot out in front of you, stretch out those hamstrings. Uh, and then the final set of 10 will be a pull on the outer part of your hip as you're standing. So your knee will come up into your chest, but only you're going to bring it across your body, much like you're in kind of a pigeon stretch down on the ground. Was that a nice attractive close up? Um, you're going to pull your knee up into your chest and flip it so that we get a little pull on the outside part of your hip and into your butt. 10 Samson lunges, 10 side lunges, 10 toy soldiers, 10 pulls on the outside part of your hip. Go. The last part of your warm up is going to be some stretching done on your own. Uh, it's going to be very quick as well. Um, what we're going to do, top of a plank position, you're going to run, lunge forward with your right leg into a deep, perfect lunge. I want you to lunge down with that right leg. Try to get your forearms down on the ground if you can on the inside of your right foot and really drive that knee out so, again, we can stretch into your hips in that deep lunge. When you are done that deep lunge on the right side, let's say let's, let's hang there for about 30 seconds, I want you to press up into a pike position, okay, which is going to be the top, basically, uh, of that pike push-up position that you're going to do in the Metcon. I want you to pedal your feet back and forth so we can stretch out our calves, get ready for all that jumping that you're going to do over your barbell or piece of equipment. Um, so about 30 seconds in that deep lunge, maybe about 10, 20 seconds in that pike position with your calves. Uh, right after that pike position, stretching out your calves, I want you to um, you know, press that head forward and give me five pike push-ups. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Deep lunge, perfect lunge on the left side. Drive that leg out about 30 seconds. Press into a pike. Stretch out those calves again. And then again, we're going to finish with just five pike push-ups from that position. Go for that. Come on back, and we'll get the Metcon started. Okay, uh, so warming up your equipment for the Metcon. Uh, if you're going to be using a barbell today, I would like to see you do some of your, uh, your clean progressions and pressing overhead like strict press, push press, push jerks. I'd like to see you do all of that with an empty bar before you start loading things up here. Uh, if you do this workout the way that I want it done, um, you only have to clean and jerk this thing three times in the workout. That's it. But nonetheless, we still got to warm it up. Uh, so progressions on your own would just be your high pulls, your shrugs, your presses overhead, um, and so on and so forth. Dumbbells, if you got a lighter set of dumbbells before you break out the heavy, you want, heavier ones that you're going to do for the Metcon, that's great. Uh, if not, we can do our progressions with just one dumbbell. We can do it with both if you feel like you're ready to go. Uh, but I would like, you, would like to see you do some of those clean progressions and overhead progressions before you start ripping into uh, some back squats or, or really front squats in this position. That's what you have today. Um, so go ahead and hit that. Uh, but what I would like to see you do just to make sure that everything is, uh, it's nice and activated at the bottom of that squat and just get you some good practice in for the booty burn that we're going to do after where you hold the bottom of that squat. When you get that bar or those dumbbells onto your back for the first time and you start squatting your first five reps that you do at the weight that you're going to do for the Metcon uh, I want you to sit in the bottom of the squat, sit kind of in an active at parallel or right below parallel position. Uh, I want you to sit there for about three seconds for five reps. So when you get that barbell loaded or those dumbbells on your back for the first time that you are going to squat the, the weight that you're going to use in the Metcon, um, give me five back squats, but every rep at the bottom, I want you to hold that active position for about three seconds before you come back up. Okay. Um, so that's how I want you to continue warming up. We're going to talk about the workout just one more time, just to recap what we're doing, and then I'm going to let you go. All right, time to hit it. Uh, Metcon, again, you know the name of the game here. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't have a name, but you know what I want done. Uh, 21, 15, 9, back squats, lateral bar hop overs times two, um, and pike push-ups, okay? Back squats. You only need to clean and jerk this thing three times in the workout. When that bar goes up or those dumbbells go up, they do not come down until that set is done. 21, 15, 9, all of them. Uh, lateral bar hopovers times two. You've got a set of 42. you got a set of 30. you got a set of 18. Grind through those as best you can. Uh, pike push-ups, exact same thing. Everybody's going to differ here uh, in terms of... Um, 
you know, ability on this movement. Some of us might burn out a little bit more before others. And some of us, are, our upper body just might be torched from the past couple of days. And that's fine. Just chip away for those how you need to. Um, our main focus here is just making sure we keep the tempo uh, high on your lateral bar hopovers. Uh, and the back squats, we just get pissed, go hit them all. Um, and then we slow down a little bit on the pike push-ups. 12-minute uh, cap, boogie. Booty burn at the end. Again, you know what needs to happen there. Three rounds, max jumping lunges, get your hip open, back knee touches the ground to the best of your ability, 30-second hold at the bottom, and don't dog it, don't sit ass to grass, 30-second rest period after that. We get a total of four and a half minutes there, and then we are done, okay? So go ahead and hit your Metcon, hit your booty burn, come on back, and we will uh, do a little cool down before the, uh, the weekend really gets underway. Welcome back. Metcon is done. Booty burn is done. We are going to spend pretty much all of our time now just focusing on your lower body. Um, in your cool down today, right leg separate from left leg, I want you to find a wall that you can go up against or a couch, uh, and I want you to sit in a, a good minute stretch, couch stretch, on your right leg and your left leg so we can stretch into those quads, stretch into those hip flexors. Um, I want you to spend a minute there. I also want you to spend about a minute just in a big hip flexor stretch on the right side and the left. So you'll lunge out forward with your right leg. You feel a big stretch into your left hip flexor on that side. Spend about a minute on each side on those hip flexor stretches. Um, from there, I want you to spend about 30 seconds per side on a pigeon stretch. Same thing on a hamstring stretch. While you're down on your hands and knees, just keep that left knee down on the ground. Right leg will go out in front. Hamstring stretch, right side, 30 seconds. Hamstring, left side, 30 seconds. Um, that's what I want you to focus your, uh, your time and effort on in the cool down today. Just all, all lower body, hips, hamstrings, quads, a little bit of everything. Um, so again, first, couch stretch. Once you spend a good amount of time on the right leg, good amount of time on the left leg. Um, hip flexor stretch with that deep lunge. Uh, maybe spend about a minute on each side there too. Deep lunge with the right out in front. So we stretch out that hip flexor on the opposite side that is behind you. Um, pigeon stretch each leg. Hamstring stretch each leg. When that is done, if you guys need to stretch out your calves, if those are feeling a little sore, a little you know worked after uh, all those lateral bar hopovers, please take the time to do that. Uh, and if you've got a rest day tomorrow before we hit Murph on, in some capacity on Monday, uh, enjoy it. Um, don't hit the food and drink too, too hard. And, um, yeah, just enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend.